Okay, this is the RV focused echo in the ICU. Now, before we get into some of the hemodynamics and some of the other details, I thought it'd be helpful to review some of the basic anatomy and how RV function is just a little bit different from LV function. So let's look at the anatomy. If you slice the RV, as you would see in a short axis view, peristomal short axis view, uh, you can see that there are three major walls to the RV besides the septum, of course. There's the anterior wall, the lateral free wall, and the inferior wall. Now, depending on how you look at the RV, this is actually kind of a funny shaped structure. So um, the RV is not nice and circular uh, or conical like the left ventricle is. In fact, it kind of just wraps around the LV and has this uh, pretty unusual shape. So depending on how you slice it, it actually ends up looking quite different, which is something you've probably noticed if you've tried looking at the RV in any uh, capacity and echo. So when we look at it um, from the anterior surface, really this is all the anterior wall the lateral free wall kind of sits out here a little bit more. The inferior wall is what is going to abut the diaphragm, and that's really what you're going to end up seeing in your subcostal view, which is what we're going to look at here. So take a look. So if you look at it from the subcostal view, putting your probe looking up, you're really mostly looking at the inferior free wall of the RV. Now this is a peristernal short. This is actually a subcostal peristernal short. So here you're getting a bit of the inferior and anterior wall. When you're looking at it from the apical four chamber, which is going to be one of my favorite views to look at, as we'll see in this series, uh, you're looking mostly at the lateral free wall. When you're doing your peristernal long axis views, you're actually looking mostly at the anterior wall as it leads up to the right ventricular outflow tract, which is depicted here and here. Now, if you take a short axis view and you slide it up a rib space or two, you often will get this view, which is you're picking up the aortic, let's look at the anatomy here, you're picking up the aortic trunk, the aortic valve, um, you're picking up the pulmonary trunk behind it, uh, and then you're getting the RV. So I'll put this actually into motion. This is a video. Um, so again, in this type of view, you're getting, actually getting a little bit of your inferior wall here as you look at the tricuspid valve, uh, but mostly what you're seeing is the anterior wall leading up to the RVOT. So again, this peristernal, short axis view that is slid up. This is called the RVOT view or the pulmonary, or sorry, the RV outflow view uh, is mostly the anterior wall uh, that you're getting. So if you're lucky and uh, people have good windows here, when you are playing around in this view, you can often actually see more of the PA. And then when you're looking at an echo, I just wanted to demonstrate here that the right PA is what is going to be on this side of the screen and the left PA is going to go off this direction. It's not very often, though, that you can see this nice branching or the PA be this large, but this patient must have had pulmonary hypertension or something, which is why I got such good images here. Okay, so that was the basic anatomy, which we'll revisit here in a moment. But before we move on, I wanted to talk about RV contractility. And if you know anything about um, the myocardium, you actually know that unlike the left ventricle, the RV contracts largely through longitudinal myocardial fibers in the subendocardium which is a little bit different from the LV. The LV also has a very prominent subepicardial layer of um, circumferential fibers. So the LV contracts a little bit differently than the RV. And because the RV is organized in these longitudinal myocardial fibers, which predominate, it actually will cause the apex to be pulled toward the base. So we can see that in our subcostal view. Uh, you can actually almost make out some of these longitudinal fibers here, right? That the base is being pulled toward the apex. Similarly, if you were this, this uh, slice here, this anatomic slice here is actually looking at the myocardial fibers going up toward the right ventricular outflow tract and into the pulmonary valve. And in that situation here, again, you're going to be pulling the base toward that outflow tract. So the apex is being pulled toward the base, pulled toward the pulmonary valve. So that's the direction it's pulled. But what ends up happening is the right ventricle ends up contracting like a bellows mechanism. Uh, so if you've ever tried to light a fire, the old-fashioned way, I actually have one of these in my living room, you can light a fire by uh, squeezing a bellows, and that's actually how the RV squeezes. Uh, it's more of a bellows type action. So this, because of the way the, the valve and the, everything's tethered together, uh, when these longitudinal myocardial fibers pull toward the apex, they actually cause this free wall to behave like a bellows. Uh, so that's important when you start to look at RV dyskinesis to think about how the RV contracts quite a bit different from the LV. All right, and so we'll just wrap up the anatomy. Um, before I wrap up here, I just want to thank the authors of both the last two uh, articles that made their articles open access and also made the images freely shareable. Uh, so I appreciate that. It makes making recordings like this uh, so much easier. So again, RV, looking at it from this uh, long axis view, we're mostly looking at anterior wall. 
any sort of apical four chamber view you're getting, you're mostly looking at the lateral wall, lateral free wall. When you're looking at your inflow view, you can start to pick up your inferior wall. So this would be an inflow view. Um, and then again, if you're looking at an outflow track view, you're mostly picking up anterior wall, which we talked about before. All right, that's really all we have to say about anatomy and uh, function before we move on.